guys, welcome back to another video. I got this weird, like, curl. Look at this little curl I have right here. Say hi to Stacia. Hi. Stacia's not having a good morning. It's just two back-to-back -back days of crazy amounts of work, but. Yeah, I hear you. It's almost over. It's almost over. So I have a bit of a dilemma. I am running out of storage for all this content I'm making. Normally I'm like super, super organized with all this stuff. But the last few days, I've just been like dumping cards wherever I need and just putting content and videos wherever. So what I need to do today is organize this stuff, but I don't have enough storage space on any of these hard drives to do anything. So look, I have four hard drives here. Each one of these is four terabytes, and then this one is, I think maybe two terabytes or one terabyte. And then this is my Samsung T3, uh, which is one terabyte. And I don't do any storage on this. This is what I edit off of. And every one of these is, I think, pretty much full. And then I have another four terabyte drive somewhere in this cabinet, and that's completely full too. So I need to get all the footage off of all my cards. I have about like seven cards that are just filled to the brim with photos and video, and I just need to organize them. But I don't wanna organize them in folders that are like mixed up with all my travel content as well. So I really need to like dive deep into this organization and managing all this footage. Uh, so what I need to do is get a bigger hard drive and then take all of these hard drives and put them on the big hard drive and then I can use these again for other storage options when I'm making like these daily videos and weekly videos. And this just came in the mail. So I got a little 10% off discount at Best Buy. So I think I'm gonna take a ride over there and grab something. Storage, 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 where are you? I just love this store. This is like the best store ever. I just get all hyped when I come in here and then I spend all my money. I am literally looking everywhere. I cannot find hard drives. Here's a few, but I know they have more than this. These are all like one terabyte, two terabyte drives. I see some eight terabytes, only 164 bucks. That's not that bad. Now I just found this one on Amazon and it's like my current one I have. And this one's only $139 for eight terabytes. I might just order this one instead of buying anything here because they don't even have that here. So that didn't work out as planned, but there is a cheesesteak place right down the road and I'm gonna stop there because Station I had one, it was so freaking good. Actually, she got a, uh, like an Italian sausage cheesesteak, I guess you would call it. And it's this little shack outside of a Home Depot and they make seriously one of the best cheesesteaks here in Philly. And I don't think like many people know about them. So I'm gonna go there now, I'm gonna get one for me. And also surprise station with an Italian sausage sandwich. This is the place right here. Rocco's Italian sausage and cheesesteaks. Right outside the Home Depot on uh, Col Christopher Columbus Boulevard. But they only accept cash. So they have an ATM machine right here. How's your day going? Not Still not good? Not great. I have something that may cheer you up. Is it Fritos or chocolate? Not Fritos or chocolate. Then? <laughs> so, it didn't work out for me, but I think Stacia will be very happy with this. What? Hey, you can hold that. What do you mean I'm gonna be happy? Oh, hell yeah, dude, is this the Italian sausage sub? <laughs> From? Home Depot parking lot. That's right. <laughs> yes, I love these things. Did you tell them all about this place? Yeah. It's like the weirdest possible location for something to exist, but the sandwiches are so good. Yes. You gotta see the reveal. There it is. It's a little soggy because it was in my bag on the way home. This is one of the best cheese sticks in Philly. It is, I know. This place is amazing. Oh my god. Okay, so it is now 9.45 p.m. Stacia is having some wine, chugging down the wine, finishing up her work. She can't come out tonight. And I want to go take a photo that I've had in my head for a while. Back in the day, my first long exposure shot was here in Philly. This shot right here. I want to recreate this shot but I want to be standing right here. It's not going to be this exact shot. You know those shots where people are like levitating something, like they, they throw their phone up in the air and then they take the shot with a high shutter speed and it looks like their phone is just floating in midair. I want to do the same thing with my camera. So I want to do like sort of like a close-up shot 
with me like holding out my arm with my camera levitating there, but also get a long exposure shot at the same time and hopefully get like some of those car trails behind me and stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all that in frame or even pull off this shot, but I called up my friend uh, David and he's gonna come help me because I definitely can't do it on my own. Yo, what up, dude? Yo, what's, what's up, man? So guys, this is the street. This is Broad Street, the street that I live on. And if you walk down this center path right here, that's where we're gonna get the shot, aiming up at this building right here, the William Penn Clock Tower, this is City Hall. So the first shot we're trying to get here is a long exposure shot. Problem is there's like not many cars moving tonight. Should have done this on like a Friday or Saturday night. The problem with this shot is like, I have to merge these two photos together. I need a long exposure and I need to get myself in frame holding my hand out with like my hand in focus and everything else blurry. So this is the long exposure shot. I don't know if you guys can even see that in camera, but that's what we're trying to get here. I feel like it's just like a little bit overexposed, so I might tone down the exposure a little bit and take another one. And now I'm gonna do the, the shot where I stand there and hold out my hand, and then we gotta take a shot of the camera, which that is probably gonna be the hardest. Good. Yo, guys, I think we did it. So here's the long exposure, and there's me. And now I'm gonna merge those two together in Photoshop. And now we gotta take the camera shot though. gonna be holding my camera above my hand and dropping it and he's gonna take a super high speed shutter shot so that it looks like the camera is just frozen in the frame then I'm gonna crop that out and I'm gonna place it in the two photos that I took prior to this but I'm afraid of dropping my camera because I can only catch it with one hand and if it tilts just a little bit it's just gonna fall on the ground so I'm doing it with my old my a7s2 because it's not as good as my new one. I'd rather break that one. I'm risking my camera right now for this shot. We're gonna try with the bottle of water first to see what shutter speed we need to be at so I'm not dropping my camera 10 times just to get it right. One, two, three. All right, I think we got it figured out. 2,000 shutter speed should be fine and the shot looked pretty good with the water bottle. Now I gotta do it with my lens. Four, this is the scariest shit. Three, two, one. That actually worked. I dropped my camera and then my other hand came down like to cradle it so my other hand got in the way but there was like just enough space where there's free amount of room for me to work with. One. I think we got that last one. Is it any good? It's a bad Oh f dude. It's so crispy. So there's some bokeh and reflection of light in the lens as it was falling, but it's so perfectly in focus. Dude, nailed it. Yes, we got that shot. So now we're walking around, probably gonna try to take a couple more shots, but then I gotta get home and start editing this video, man, because I'm running out of time. It's already 11.30. It's probably gonna take me like four hours to edit this video, and I have to edit the three photos together. Oh, it's gonna be hell. But I'm so excited, dude. I really think this photo is gonna be dope. What do you think? I think it came out pretty bad. I think, yeah, I think once I get everything edited in Lightroom, I think it's gonna be a banger. So it's the next day. I was up super late, like editing this video and trying to get the photo perfect. But overall, I'm happy with the way the shot came out. It's not perfect. There's a few things that I would change if I were to do it again. But overall, I'm very happy with the outcome. So here's the photo before. And then here's the photo with everything merged together. I got the effect that I was going for with the light trails and the long exposure and then merged the second photo in with you know me holding out my hand and my hand in focus 
and everything really just like blended well together. The one thing that really pisses me off is that the camera isn't fully in focus because I was shooting at 1.4 aperture, which is a really shallow depth of field. So I wasn't able to get the whole camera in focus. And that was a mistake on my part. I should have shot at like at least 2.8 and then the whole camera would have been in focus instead of just the body. But overall, like I said, I am super happy with the way it came out. So head over to the Instagram page, go check out the photo, give it a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on it. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button on your way out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you.